Hey everyone, gamers, streamers, and everyone else. My name is Parsh Garg, and welcome back to my channel. And today, I've got some big news for you guys. Starting with Intel's 11th generation processor specs confirmed. TSMC's 5 nanometer Nord, which is Ryzen 5000 processors, mein lagne wali hai, is extremely powerful. And the release date of next gen Navi and Ryzen 4000 processors is confirmed. But before that, guys, I hope that you all are safe with your homes and your families. Please take this curfew seriously and do not leave your homes if it is not extremely necessary. Janta curfew ka mazak na banao. Modi ne kuch bola hai, to soch samaj ke bola hai. Ghar pe rukho. Abhi sabko dhire dhire ilaj mil raha hai, to dhang se kam ho raha hai. Hazar se upar case bhi agar India mein ho gaya na, to bahut bade yal lag jayenge. Ghar par raho, safe raho. Thik hai? Good. Finally, it's news time and starting things today, videocast.com has done an exclusive related to Intel's upcoming Rocket Lake S CPUs, yani ki Intel ke 11th generation ke CPUs. Now, inka source unknown hai, lekin videocast.com is a very reliable and accurate leaker and they are almost always right about a leak, khas kar jab wo ek confirmation post ho to. And apparently, these CPUs are coming by the end of 2020 only. <laughs> Malab abhi Intel ke 10th generation ke CPUs bhi stable nahi hua hai. And Intel 11th gen CPUs ko is saal ke end mein hi release karne ki tayyari kar raha hai. But to be very honest, that's to be expected as well. Kyunki most probably this rush is to better compete with the next generation of AMD CPUs. Now, according to the leak, in CPUs ke liye ek naya core architecture use hoga. But there are some rumors that they will still be based on Intel's 14 nanometer nod. मतलब तुम्हें अगर प्यार करना है ना तो ऐसे करना जैसे इंटेल अपने 14 नैनोमीटर नोट्स को करता है वरना मत करना छोड़ देना <laughs> उसके अलावा दिस विल सपोर्ट इंटेल्स एक्स ग्राफिक्स जो कि मैं भगवान के लिए दुआ कर रहा हूं कि इंटेल के इंटरनल जीपीयूज हो ना कि डिस्क्रीट जीपीयूज क्योंकि एक डिस्क्रीट जीपीयू का सिर्फ इंटेल के प्रोसेसर को एक्सक्लूसिवली सपोर्ट करना <laughs> will be kind of stupid even for Intel. These CPUs will also for the first time feature PCIe Gen 4.0 on Intel's chipset. So that's good news. But in processors ke liye tumhaar ko nai 500 series ke motherboards lene hi padenge taaki tumhi nai use kar sako. And mind you, 10th generation ke saath bhi nai 400 CPUs ke motherboards tumhaar ko lene padenge. So hallelujah to that. And uske alawa 20 PCIe Express 4.0 lanes tumhe milenge. Thunderbolt 4 ka support bhi hoga. But let's just say ki Thunderbolt 4 utna impressive nahi hai jitna Thunderbolt 3 tha. Now don't get me wrong. It's good news ki Intel nai standards ko jaldi jaldi adopt kar raha hai. But the use of their 14 nanometer nodes is going to hurt them a lot. Especially because these CPUs are going up against AMD 7 nanometer and 5 nanometer nodes as well. Yani ki Ryzen 4000 and Ryzen 5000. So we have that to look forward to. And speaking of 5 nanometer nodes, TSMC ki 5 nanometer nodes jo ki Ryzen 5000 processors mein use hone wali hai are turning out to be quite an upgrade guys compared to their 7 nanometer predecessors. Right now their 5 nanometer nodes are expected to ramp around the second quarter of this year yani ki around May or April mein but potential delays can happen because of Voldemort. Fingers crossed to that aisa na ho. But abhi ke liye at IEDM TSMC reported 84% density improvement in 5 nanometer over their 7 nanometer nodes. 84% it is a huge huge improvement guys and I must say ki 4th generation haa bohat zyada exciting hone wala hai kyunki it's gonna be a full redesign and not an incremental upgrade over Ryzen 3000 but don't think even for a second that AMD is gonna stop right there Ryzen 5000 isn't gonna be any short of that bohat maza aega us mein bhi and speaking of Ryzen 4000 we might finally have an insight on the release date of AMD's fourth generation desktop processors. Yani ki laptop ke Ryzen 4000 ki baat kar raha main. I am talking full desktop Zen 3 architecture based CPUs. This is reported by an unknown source at WCCF Tech and while they are very good at what they do, and they seem to be confident enough because they have written a whole article on this thing. <laughs> I'd still recommend to take this one with a grain of salt because I haven't confirmed this about this too. But according to this source, AMD ke Ryzen 4000 processors or RDNA 2 based GPUs or 6700 XT if AMD current naming scheme ko continue to keep their current naming scheme, are releasing in October 2020 and of course in ki announcement ek ya do mahine pehle ho jayegi release date ke now jaisa ki maine bataya ki main is cheez par puri tarah believe nahi kar raha hu lekin 
मैं इसको रिपोर्ट इसलिए कर रहा हूं कि दिस मेक सेंस टू सम एक्सटेंट क्योंकि नेक्स्ट जनरेशन के कॉन्सोल्स नवंबर में निकलने वाले हैं और उनमें आर डी एन ए टू बेस जीपीयू डलेंगे मैंने उनसे रिलेटेड वीडियो की है मैं आई बटन में दे दूंगा वो जाकर तुम देख सकते हो तो अगर उनमें आर डी एन ए टू बेस जीपीयू आने हैं तो इट मेक सेंस की उसके एक डेढ़ महीने पहले डेस्कटॉप के आर डी एन ए टू बेस जीपीयू निकले अगेन वॉल्डेमोट कैन कॉज सम सीरियस डिलेज इवन फॉर द कॉन्सोल्स तो अगर ऐसा कुछ होता है तो मैं उससे रिलेटेड वीडियो जरूर बनाऊंगा तो सब्सक्राइब कर लो एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन सो दैट यू डोंट मिस एनी ऑफ द अपडेट्स इन द फ्यूचर एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू लाइक दिस वीडियो एंड कमेंट योर व्यूज ऑन दिस न्यूज एज वेल इन द कमेंट सेक्शन आज के लिए बस इतना ही गाइज अगेन प्लीज अपने अपने घरों में रहो सेफ रहो ज्वाइन माई डिस्कॉर्ड सर्वर इफ यू हैव एनी प्रॉब्लम रिलेटेड टू योर नेक्स्ट पी सी जो तुम लॉकडाउन के बाद बनवाने वाले हो एंड फॉलो मी ऑन इंस्टाग्राम फॉर मोर डेली अपडेट्स आई सी यू नेक्स्ट टाइम विद अनदर ग्रेट वीडियो ऑन दिस चैनल दिस इज फर्स्ट गर्ड साइनिंग ऑफ बाय बाय टाटा सी यू एंड Peace